Hey, it's Joe Tamargo from WetHeadPumpRepair.com. All right, so we're back with the WhisperFlow WF28 pool pump that we're repairing for a customer, okay? All right, so we showed you in the other videos uh, how we drilled out the end bell and how we drilled out the screw holes and how to use a tap and die. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put this thing, this, this bad boy back together. All right, so here's my fan shroud. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the four bolts into my fan shroud into my end bell. Okay, so you can see four holes in the fan shroud and then four holes inside of the end bell. Do is you're gonna line up those four holes, okay, with the four holes in the end bell, and then I'm gonna use my nut driver and my and my bolts, and I'm gonna put them back in. All right. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put all four of these in there, and then I'm gonna tighten it down, and then my fan shroud will be nice and tight. And then after that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start reinstalling the armature uh, inside of the front end bell, and I'm gonna clip it down with the bearing clip, and then my front end bell will be mounted to my armature. Okay, and then I'll have my front bell, end bell mounted to my armature, and then we're going to put the armature into the vise, okay, and then we're going to show you how to reinstall the armature and everything else like that. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to move the camera up close, and we're going to show you up close how to install these little screws and how to hold down this fan shroud, okay? All right, so we're going to come on and close right now.